I'm Chef Carol NYC. And my question for you today is, do you know the difference between a serving and a portion? If your answer is, what's the difference? I invite you to stay with me for the next few minutes and let me show you why it's important. Let's get to when it. When you go to a restaurant, a serving might be a massive plate of pasta. A portion is how much of that serving you actually eat. The average person has not known what a serving really is. We're told to eat three servings of fruits, three servings of vegetables, and other items that might be on our particular meal plan. But the average person didn't know what a serving of anything actually was. What is a serving of fruit? A medium apple, two small apricots, or one cup of no added sugar. And I emphasize no added sugar as opposed to sugar that's already contained in that individual fruit. So what I'm going to suggest you do is use a serving as a guideline you go bigger or smaller when it comes to your portion size. And that should be based on your individual health needs. The following slides are examples of serving sizes of fruits and vegetables. These charts actually give very precise measurements for servings of lean meat, poultry, fish, eggs, nuts, and other types of proteins. Additionally, the charts for dairy also give exact measurements for milk, cheese, yogurt, and alternative forms of milk. Before 2011, a serving was actually a half a cup. It has been increased to two thirds of a cup. So when we look at nutritional labels, a serving size is what denotes the calories and the other items that are shown. So if you'll notice on this label, the two-third cup shows that fat is 10%, cholesterol is zero, sodium is seven, carbohydrates 13, and protein is three grams. Also, we see the total fat is eight grams, which is 10% of the two-third serving. On this slide, you'll notice that 12 grams of sugar include an additional 10 grams of added sugar, making this product 20% sugar. In this label, you'll notice the original label looked at vitamins A, C, calcium, and iron in percentages. The new labels give us a little more information and they look at vitamins D, calcium, iron, and potassium and give us the measurements in both milligrams and percentages. This particular package tells us that the entire container has three servings. 
It gives you the statistics for one serving. And should you decide to eat the whole box rather than the two third cup, which is a serving, then that entire box would be 570 calories and all the statistics would follow under that. To summarize portions versus servings, we've learned that a very specific amount, using the examples on the labels of two thirds of a cup, it is a measured amount and it includes a certain number of calories and nutrients. This you have to be very much aware of because you might think that the two thirds and the smaller percentages of sugars means that it's a good thing and it may very well be very harmful because how likely are you to just have two thirds of a cup? So what we want to do is make certain that we're reading labels. We remember that portions are determined by your specific level of hunger and how much you decide to eat at any one time or sitting. So always think of a big plate of food or a smaller plate of food as a portion size. And how important is this? Because if you're looking at serving sizes, and this is what you should be eating according to your meal plan, if you're eating servings that are larger than the specified amounts, then know that that can be detrimental to your weight loss goals. I hope you found the information useful, and I know that if you follow it, it will help you on your journey. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please come back, subscribe, 